Hi, I'm Emily of the Darling Dogwood, and I'm very excited to be in my sixth year as an Island Boutique Ambassador. And the best day of the year, as any ambassador will tell you, is getting our shipment box of goodies for the first half or second half of the year. This happens to be the first half. So this box in front of me is 35 pounds of things from Island Boutique and their industry partners. And I'm excited to show you what's in it. So first I want to say, who wants to see what's in here? Um, one thing that's not in the box is a pattern from Funky Friends Factory. Um, this is not the pattern I chose for this year. This is actually what I made uh, several years ago. This is Ollie the Owl, although in our house, this is Orion because after the constellation because he flies among the stars. Um, Pauline, who's the person behind Funky Friends Factory, has sent each of us a pattern, and you will see those in April. Uh, she creates all kinds of stuffed toy patterns. They are, I am not a stuffed toy person, but they are relatively easy to make. She's also got some earmarked as easy. So Orion is going to oversee the uh, rest of the unboxing activities. So I'm starting with what's on top here and I've got a package from Schmetz Needles. I've been using Schmetz Needles the entire time I've been quilting. When I bought my first sewing machine, um, the uh, salesman actually told me that putting using a quality needle will help, help prolong the life of my machine. And since he told me that and told me to use Schmetz Needles, I always have. So I've got some final needles, um, a costume pack, which has all different types of needles. Uh, there's universals in here, there's stretch, there's actually a jeans needle. Um, and I have a color code chart of what the markings on their needles themselves. Oh, there's a pack of needles I missed in there. Piecing and quilting needles. Um, so different needle assorted needle packs from Schmetz Needles. Thank you to Schmetz. Put those down with Orion there. Um, next, I have another challenge sponsor. Um, and that's Deb Tucker's Studio 180 Design. I got the Tucker Trimmer Tool and Quilter's Magic Wand. Um, the Tucker Trimmer Tool makes um, half square and quarter square triangle units. And the Quilter's Magic Wand has, I didn't, don't want to take the paper off because I actually already have one. So this will find its way as a giveaway at some point this year. Uh, but it has a line down the middle and it marks quarter inch on either side of that line. So if you're marking diagonal units, it's easy to use. You will see Deb Tucker's tools in a challenge in June um, with a uh, organization, charitable organization they've partnered with called Sleep in Heavenly Peace, making quilts for kids, um, I believe age two through 17. Um, as that also gives beds to um, to kids of those ages. So you'll see those in June, uh, thanks to Deb Tucker Studio 180 Design. And I've got mostly fabric on top now here, and I will start with this beautiful bundle. This is one of the collections, the Fall 23 collections. Um, remember, those names are from when the catalogs came out, not from when the fabrics hit stores. So this fabric will be in stores starting in February of this year, 2024. This is the Fairy Floss Collection by uh, Tamarini's, and it's this beautiful selection of purples and some greens, kind of lime green type, and turquoise. Um, so that was Fairy Floss. Beautiful colors there. And underneath, I've got some yardage that coordinates with that, but there's things sitting on top of it. So we'll get to that in a moment. I also have a surprise bundle here. So this is a collection that will be in shops. In, these are the winter 23 collections, and these will be in shops in May. And you will see these collections highlighted in um, in a May blog hop. I forgot to mention that Fairy Floss and the other fall collections will be highlighted in February blog posts by all the ambassadors. Now I can get to some of the, well, no, that's not the coordinating yardage. And then I have new, this is one of the neutrals. There should be looking for a sticker that tells me what it is because this is one, I think it's either milkshake or moo milk, but I don't actually have a sticker that tells me. So this is one of the neutrals um, and it's got this great kind of like almost topograph um, topography pattern to it. Um, it's always great to get lots of neutrals to work with a wide variety of fabrics and collections. I also have a foundations bundle. So Island Boutique has two kind of basic streams. One are the new collections that come out four times a year, and the other are their foundations collections, which are always available and they they don't change other than occasionally sunsetting of, of one or two um, fabrics. And so we also get a bundle of most of the other things you'll see are the foundations fabrics, like the neutral that I wasn't sure the name of. Um, 
These coordinate with those two big bundles I just showed you, the fairy floss and the mystery one. So I've got, let's see if I can get to stickers here. I can. So this is honeydew, beautiful green. I've got Malibu, um, bubbles in raspberry, bubbles in leaf. This is the solid lime green, solid amethyst. Oh, that one's nice, nice neutral. Mint, vibes, um, waterfall, bubbles in cherry, and then this is the, um, the turquoise and red solid. So within the foundations, there's a couple of different lines. There's the basics, which are the kind of modeled ones. There's blenders, which have a little bit of a pattern to them, and there's solids. Um, um, there's also the neutrals, which are kind of would be blender-like and that they have a bit of a pattern to them. So those are the different parts of the foundations that are always available. And you'll see more foundations as I keep opening things, including here is a, they've recently put some of their foundations together in um, different colorway gradations. These are the precious pinks. You can see it goes all the way from really soft pink to a really dark like magenta. So that's a strip pack, precious pinks. Precious pinks are one of my favorites of the gradations. Um, they're absolutely beautiful, but all of their gradations are beautiful. I also have three rolls of stash builders. These are really great because they are five inch by width of fabric. So you can create jelly rolls out of them. You could create charm packs out of them. They're also great if you do applique. Um, they're just a great way as you can fit stash builder strips to build stash. Um, but lots of different colors. This one's mostly kind of aqua and green. This one looks to be largely purple with some yellow and some blues and some nice neutral ones, which is great to have, to be able to have a variety if you're looking for a scrappy background or other neutrals. Here's that coordinating foundations that goes with the uh, Fairy Floss collection. Let me see if I can find, stickers are hiding more than they used to. Nope. I'm not sure what they are, but they are beautiful. This is a great kind of, um, I would call this boysenberry, but I don't know what color it actually is. And an, um, a neutral looking one. Um, that might be butter. I'm, I'm not sure. Again, I can't find the sticker. Um, and I mentioned those gradations. I also have a 10 inch stack of the beautiful blue, excuse me, brilliant blue, brilliant blues. So again, gradation from light to dark with lots of different shades, beautiful colors there. And there's still some more fabric in here, but there's two more industry partners I want to mention. Um, one is Hobbs Batting. Um, I have the Tuscany collection. They're 100% wool batting, and this is the throw size. Um, I haven't used the silk batting much. Uh, excuse me, wool. I have used the wool batting. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I said silk. Um, I, the wool batting is actually one of my favorites. I, the quilt that's on my, the extra quilt that I need for warmth this time of year is actually on my bed right now is the wool batting. I absolutely love it. And if you do a lot of, it gives you really great definition with the quilting. Um, it's, it's one of my favorites. This and the, the 80 20 um, are probably the, the two that I love the best, although all of Hobbs battings are great. So thank you to Hobbs for that. There's also a new sponsor this year that I'm super excited about because Oliso is a sponsor this year. I have never used one of their irons. I've heard about them. I've kind of drooled over them. I love the idea of one that you don't have to pick up every time because it kind of lifts itself and you're not doing the motion with the wrist. This is the yellow one. Um, so I'm very excited. Um, as I said, I've, I've never used it before, but I have drooled over other people's. So thank you to Oliso. Very excited to start using it. Also great timing. Uh, the iron that I have been using started leaking about a week ago. So <laughs> doubly excited for that. I have um, a stack here of another one of the fall collections that will be in stores in February. This is Breezy by Kate Holleran. It's got this beautiful color. I love that it's purples, a couple kind of pinks, some oranges, greens, great kind of floral motifs, great for a floral quilt. And I have some foundations yardage that goes with that. Again, let me see if I can find, they're hiding the stickers. So I don't know which they are. I have this nice kind of modeled sky looking um, neutral. And this one I've had before, this is a purple blender um, with kind of that topography pattern in it as well. That's a really great one. Um, 
And then I have another uh, pre-cut. This is the strip pack. This is Fire and Ice. This is one of those winter collections that um, the fabric yardage will be in stores in May. I believe pre-cuts are in stores sooner than that. In fact, I believe, um, including now, um, this is Fire and Ice. So you can see lots of kind of reds and oranges that goes with that fire and some kind of blacky grays and some some neutral colors to go with the ice. And I've got a black blender and another neutral that goes with that fire and ice. Um, when I do the blog post, I will write down what those um, foundations that I can't find the stickers for. Um, here's why I said silk. I have another batting hiding under there. I knew I had seen silk when I went through it to kind of make sure I knew what, was, what to talk about. There's a soap batting as well, which I haven't used. I started to say that before. So now you know why I misspoke before. Also, I don't do video editing. So that's why you've got that blooper in there. I also have four yards each of these um, solids, uh, neutral solids. So I've got black, gray, and white. I use these all the time. It's very rare for me to do a project that doesn't have at least one of these in them. They're great. One of the things I really like about them is unlike other solids, because batiks are a tighter weave, they don't fray as much. Um, and I do, they just set off different fabrics so nicely. Um, I use these, these solids a lot. Um, and that is my, that is my box. Um, I don't have room to put on the table those, those solids, but, um, that is what I will be working with for the next six months. I'm really excited to show you. I've got some great ideas already for things I want to make with these fabrics. I'm really excited. Thanks as always to Island Batique, who's incredibly generous with uh, their ambassadors. So thank you for all the goodies. I'm very excited to start playing. Also, thank you to Hobbs, to Aliso, to Studio 180 Design, to Funky Friends Factory, to Schmetz Needles. Um, Aurifil is also a sponsor. I have not, um, my understanding is that thread is coming later, possibly the second half of the year. Um, and also thank you to Funky Friends Factory and my assistant Orion the Owl from the Ollie the Owl pattern from Funky Friends Factory. So thank you all for watching. I'm Emily of the Darling Dogwood.